Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am so excited because I've been meaning and wanting to do a video like this. I was just waiting to get a couple of more things or order a couple of more things so it was not just like a three item video or like a four item video. So I finally got around buying a couple more things that I feel everybody should have from Amazon. So I have always bought from Amazon, but lately I think I tweeted this, I tweeted this to you guys. I told you guys how I have been like obsessing on ordering things on Amazon and a lot of you guys were actually agreeing like, oh my God, that is me. Like I cannot stop ordering off Amazon or like the Wish app and stuff like that. I will go into Amazon to order one thing and the next thing I know, it like sends you to like related items and then I end up ordering that item and then the other item and then the other item. Um, so some of these things I discovered by myself just like going through my Amazon app or whatever. And some other things I have seen like my friends use and then I end up ordering myself and I ended up getting them. Also, a lot of these things I show you guys on my lives or I use them on my lives and you guys are like, Les, where did you get that from? I just tell you guys Amazon, but I never show you guys the exact link or tell you guys the exact name to it. So you guys would be like, so <laughs> where did you get it? What is the name? So I did go ahead and I'm obviously gonna show you guys all the things that I have that I feel super cool things to get from Amazon. All of these things are things that you don't know you need them till you actually have them and they like change your life or at least for me so i did go ahead and link um everything that i will be showing you guys down in the description in the order that i will be showing them to you guys so to get straight into the products that i'll be showing you guys the first thing is this so this is a portable charger i know we see portable chargers everywhere like it's not something out of this world to see a portable charger but this portable charger is freaking bomb. I was like ranting about it. I remember on my Instagram live a couple of weeks back when I was out of town. Um, and like I said, I never told you guys the exact link or the exact name of it. Also, I am currently about to be seven months pregnant. So if I, if you see me catching uh, my breath a lot or running out of breath a lot, literally just sitting down, it is because of that. I don't think you guys can see, you guys can actually not see my belly, but there is a Six and a half month belly down here, which causes me to run out of breath. So please bear with me through this video because it will be a lot of talking. But like I said, the first thing is this portable charger. So when I was looking for the link to link it for you guys in this video, I realized that there was some other ones with lower voltage. No, not voltage, AH, something like that. But this one is the most powerful, which is the one that I linked for you guys. So it comes with three little, what are these called, inserts? I know I'm saying that wrong, <laughs> but it comes with three little holes. Uh, for three people to be able to charge their phone and it lasts us forever so we will charge it before we leave out of town we'll charge it before we leave out of town and me and Alex are able to charge our phones with this probably like a good five times and the best thing I feel like a lot of times portable charges it takes and the best thing I feel like a lot of the times portable chargers take forever to charge your phone so to get it to even turn on or to get it to like a full battery it'll take like what an hour and a half maybe this one i kid you guys not it charges my phone like i'll have like five percent i'll plug it in and within 20 minutes i'm already like at 75 percent so i live i ride for this even if you don't travel as much i will literally be using this here in the house so i'm laying down in the living room and my phone is about to die and obviously don't want to go to the room just to check my phone or i don't want to let go of my phone like to leave it in the room charging because i need my phone next to me at all times i will bring the portable charger right next to me obviously it's portable so i can have it with me anywhere this one also comes super 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 in handy i mean it is a little bit big but i don't feel like it's super huge it is like a pretty good size to fit in your purse also i know it's happened to a lot of us when you are heading out you look at your phone and it is about to die this will come in handy you just put it in your purse obviously the cord, the cord you get it yourself i always just get the one from my regular iphone or you can just buy a separate one plug it in i throw this in my purse and then i plug it actually let me show you guys how i carry this with me all the time so i will just pop my regular iphone cord pop the charger in my purse roll up the cord so i don't have like all the stone hanging out and then obviously plug it in my phone the main reason why i'm ranting about this charger it's not even because it's a portable charger like i said that i don't think that's something like super crazy we can all find a portable charger anywhere but i am obsessed with this one in specific because it just works so freaking bomb i'm telling you guys within 20 minutes me lo carga. Um, like my phone will be dead and within 20 minutes it'll charge it up all the way at least at least to 50% So this is how I carry it if we are out of town, we are heading out, we're going to dinner or whatever And my phone is dead So this is my purse which is not even like a huge ass purse A purse, the charger is in there And then here is my phone being charged Within 20 minutes we will be done doing whatever we're doing I'll just go throw the charger back in the car This brand has a smaller pack I'm guessing no, no te dura tanto But I like this one because we charge it one time 
and it will last us like forever before it dies on us. The second thing, so I, as you guys know, I do not wash my hair every single day. It all just depends on like the activities that I engage myself in. Um, you know, if I, I was gonna say if I work out, then I shower, but <laughs> I don't work out online. But it depends on like what I do for the day. So if that day, you know, we were, we went swimming or estaba afuera todo el día, then I'll try and wash it a little bit more. But overall, I will wash my hair every four days, every three days. And you guys always ask me, how do I get in the shower and not wet my hair? Fun fact, I have also told you guys that a lot of the times, I don't know why, I don't know if it's just me, I don't know if it's just like a mania that I have, I would do my makeup first and then get in the shower. And every time I tell you guys this, you guys are always like, let's wait, what do you mean? You, guys, you shower with a full face of makeup and this is how I do it. So I have gone through a lot of different um, hair caps and things like that to not wet my hair while I shower. I obviously wash my body every day, but my hair, I do not like to wash it um, every single day. So these are the shower caps that I use, that I have been using and I am obsessed with. I don't plan, I will look no farther. I do not plan on trying any other ones. So this is what they look like. And I bought the pack of 100. So here is the pack, it literally comes with 100 wig caps. And this is what it looks like. So I will do my hair in a bun, which takes me about literally three seconds, and then pop this right over. My hair does not get wet at all. It, obviously, even if water splashes on it, um, no water gets in my hair since this is plastic. So these are meant, it comes with 100. These are meant for you to use it one and then throw it away. But once I put it in my shower, so obviously me la pongo, me baño, and then I take it off and I leave it there in the shower. Next time I shower, it is there, so I just put it back on. So I end up using the same one about three to five times before I throw it away. So literally the 100 pack will last you, I kid you not, for like a whole year. I have had this pack, which looks brand new, for at least three months since we were in the apartment. So it's been a good while that I've had these caps. Back then, I used to just do a really high bun and kind of just try and avoid the water getting in my hair. And it did the job, but then I feel like Si me duraba mucho en el baño, the humidity would still kind of get my hair wet. <laughs> so I had to find a way to master me not having to wash my hair. And this is it. The third thing, the third thing, the third thing, the third thing on my list is this portable ring light. This I have also showed you guys on my life probably once or twice and I never really showed it to you guys again. But this is basically a portable ring light. So this is what it looks like. It is a square, not that big, um, you guys can see the size, and it comes with two batteries and then also a charger, which I don't have next to me, but it does come with the batteries, with the charger, with everything that you need ready to use. And I love to use this for pictures. So if you do videos, if you do pictures, if you do lives, if you do selfies, if you do kind of something sort of uh, around what I do, I highly, highly recommend this. Even if you do not though, and you just wanna get like a good picture of your babies or family parties or whatever it is, and you don't wanna like bring out your whole last ring light or the lighting, the lighting sucks, um, like at parties if you guys want to take pictures at night and stuff i highly recommend this because it is so portable it is super easy and little to just you know go outside turn on the light to take pictures so i'm about to turn it on so you guys can see how powerful this is so this is literally as bright as an actual ring light that i use like the what the five big ass feet ring light that i have this is actually the same it is just portable and cute for you to carry so you turn it on it does not look super super bright right now since all the lights in my room are on for the video but it is a bright ass light obviously you switch it off and i like how it comes with yellow tone or white tone so you can mess with the lighting if you want more again of a yellow tone or of a white tone okay so i turned off the lights in my room but it is daylight so you guys can still see some light i love to use this like i said in la, in la noche when it is pretty pretty dark it will literally light up the whole place right now it kind of defeats the purpose just because it is um daylight but just to prove a point and to show you guys um, on this video, so this is on right Whoa, that's what I mean. This is bright. Um, I don't know if you guys can see right there, I turned down the white, put up all the yellow tone. Or my favorite, you can turn up all the white tone and put down the yellow tone. So that is, I'm not too sure if you guys can see it through the camera, but a, yellow, uh, a white tone. And you guys can see how freaking bright this is. I also like to take this with me if we are going out of town and I want to do a live with you guys. Normally the hotel rooms have really, really bad light and I obviously cannot... Um, take my whole lash ring light. I mean, I could, I guess, if I wanted to, but it would like take up the whole suitcase. This just makes it so much easier for that or to take selfies. Or like I said, even if you don't do videos or selfies, just to pull out um, the no shade, like at family parties or anything, turn on the light and you guys can get some badass family pictures at your parties. So yeah, this is the portable light. The next thing is probably my favorite out of all the things that I'm gonna show you guys, just because I've gone through so many trying to find like the perfect one to work for me and I finally found it. So this is an iPhone slash iPad stand. I recently got this, I want to say maybe three weeks ago and I was like showing you guys and you guys were like blown away by it the same way that I was. 
I know it's just like an iPhone slash iPad stand, but dude, I have gone through so many and I have ordered so many on Amazon and they all do the job. They all do or get, you know, get my phone to stand and stuff. But if you do keep up with my life, if you do watch me live, especially my cooking life, you guys see it, I struggle a lot just to keep the stand from not moving or not wobbling on me, or especially if I want to just grab it and move it from one position to the other. Sometimes it is hard for me to um, get the patitas to not move, if you guys know what I mean. So this is a regular phone stand slash iPad stand. And also, a lot of the times, these stands only come with, well, come with the head um, for the iPhone. And if you want, you know, for the head to be bigger for like an iPad, you have to switch it and put una cabeza mas grande, if that makes sense. And this one has it all. So let me rant to you guys about this. By the way, this video is in no way, shape or form <laughs> sponsored. So literally everything that I'm showing you guys in this video, I truly love and am passionate about. Um, and are things that I have just fell in love with, but this is how it comes obviously with the circle the palito and then this right here Can open so this is the smallest or it comes with two little strings right here And you just pull the little strings to make it as wide for an iPad or as small for just your phone So I will test my phone. I'll put my phone on here and it will flip all 360 so we'll do a full 360 it will lean Ah, it will lean up, it will lean down, so up or down. Or I can pop out my phone and then pop in my iPad and the same, it will twist all around or go up, go down. So you can lift it up as high as this or you are able to make it shorter as short as this right here. So it is pretty flexible. I am freaking obsessed with this. It has changed what I do when I bought it. Just kidding, but it has made it um, a lot easier for me, especially because now when I go live, I use my iPad. And with my cooking videos, I was really, really hard for me to move you guys around. Like I said, because of the palitos on these regular ones. But with this one, I literally just move you guys around. This is not like super heavy, but it is but it is really sturdy to the point where your phone will not fall forward, will not fall back. No se te va a ladear, so it does come pretty sturdy. And I also love the size of it because I can easily just put it in my luggage if I have to and go live with you guys um, when we go out of town. So yeah, I am obsessed with this. Even if you don't, I mean, this is I feel mainly like if you do videos and all of that and you have been looking for a good phone stand or iPad stand. This is nice to have to even just pop your phone on here while you get ready, play a video, play music or whatever the case is, do your makeup and just have your phone right here. But yeah, I am obsessed with this. Whoever <laughs> created this amazing technology it is just it just comes in handy so much so the next ones are this is how i knew <laughs> this reminded me like all those memes like un día eres joven y el otro día um, te emocionas por cosas así this is one of those things so i actually saw this on facebook but the ad that i saw on facebook it seemed really really sketch so i didn't want to order them off that facebook ad because all the comments were saying like i never got my gloves and this and that so i just went into amazon and i searched like dishwashing gloves or something like that i left the link for you guys so you guys don't struggle like i did um so i put like dishwashing gloves or magic gloves and all that and i finally came across them so these are rubber gloves that are used to wash dishes i want to be honest with you guys i don't use them like every single time that i wash dishes like oh i must pop on my gloves but i have used them before and they actually get the job the job done i feel like i struggled with them a little bit because of my nails so i you guys saw i have long ass nails and i feel like with these you have to have bare ass hands so you can fully use them to just scrub dishes and me with my long nails Como que me estorban when I put them inside the gloves. So I'll put some soap on the gloves and then get to scrubbing and they actually get it all away. So I will just scrub, scrub, scrub with the gloves. Um, and it is just kind of, I don't know, it makes washing dishes kind of fun. It's kind of like a game to just have, um, well, to pump the soap in here and then make some bubbles with it and then, you know, get rid of the dirt in the sartén. It's kind of fun if you think about it <laughs> that way. Um, but like I said, it's just my uñas que me estorban. I have been wanting to try these gloves without nails just to see how much more satisfying they are to like wash dishes with. But since I do have nails, that's what it is. If you have, if you guys have tried these or if you guys tried them and loved them, let me know if you guys actually um, traded your sponge for these or if you guys are just gonna stick to the old fashioned way, what well, old fashioned way of using the sponge. But I thought this invention was amazing AF. But whoever came up with this idea was either really bored or just really, really high because this is cool. And I feel like if you were to just see these in the store, you would think they're like to clean the tubs or clean the toilet or something like that. But they are actually magic dish washing gloves, which I feel every housewife should have, should try at least once in their life before you die. So the next items that I want to show you guys, I can't just bring them here and show you guys. I actually 
um, have to take you guys with me. So let me take you guys with me to show you guys the last three must-have things from Amazon. So next are these charcoal deep cleansing pore, deep cleansing pore strips. I'm sure you guys can probably also find these like at Walmart and Walgreens. But when I went to go look for them, they never had them in there. So I just went ahead and ordered them on Amazon because Amazon obviously had them for sure. So this is what the box looks like. Like I said, though, I did link them um, for you guys if you guys um, wanted these exact ones. And I decided to not do that sitting down because I wanted to demonstrate to you guys um with alex i obviously have a full face of makeup right now so you obviously have to have a clean face and then put this little strips on you so i'm going to put it on alex i feel like we have all seen these i had seen these for a good as while they just seem um so satisfying to like see see somebody put them on and then peeling them off because it literally takes out like all your little um pores and stuff alex has done this i have done this it hurts a little bit when you peel it off like you just have to like jank, yank it what you guys are about to see but once you take it off you can literally see like all your little pores inside so i feel like these are must have even if you're not like a huge um skincare person which i am not neither is alex but we like to do these just because um you can literally see all your little pores in your nose coming out okay so this is what the strip um looks like i had to cut a little slit right here because alex has a nose ring so that goes on over his nose ring so he has to wet his nose first. Fun fact, he did this um, three days ago, so if there's no pores coming out, don't be fooled, that is why. Yikes. And then just pop this over his nose, which again, I am not doing it because I have a lot of makeup, so make sure you do not have makeup, your face is clean, and then okay. you just pop this on here over his nose. So he's gonna leave it on his nose for 10 minutes, and then we'll be right back after it is dried up in 10 minutes, and I don't know why the heck, he is wearing my wig freaking thing. I, I, gotta feel I like mean, I want the full effect like I'm at the spa. It has been 10 minutes and this thing, obviously it's when he puts it on, it is a little bit wet. Right now, how does it feel? Hard AF, huh? No, yeah, it's like a cast already. Yeah, there we go. That's the word I was looking for. It is like a cast and then to peel it off, I normally peel, peel it off Chill. for him. It hard as hell. So it is pretty, ouch, <laughs> stuck to the nose and then right here you just want to show my nose ring ah pull it out and it will pull out all your little nasty little pores guys i haven't done this one in about a couple of weeks but you guys can see through the camera look how satisfying that looks i mean it's kind of gross but a little satisfying all the little pores that it pulls off so yeah so next is this laundry hamper so this one is one of those things that i'm telling you guys i wasn't even looking for it i was literally just scrolling and then i was like oh my god this seems like so freaking cool um so as you guys can see it comes divided so dark light and color i feel like um i actually just got this yesterday so we haven't put it to the test but i feel like it'll make it so much easier when you're doing laundry i don't know how you guys do it but obviously when we do laundry primero se paras like the colors that you're going to wash and then you wash it and i feel like this would just make it so much more simpler because everything's already going to be divided so if you divide it since you take off your dirty clothes once you go and wash your clothes you can your loads are already going to be like ready for you i don't know i saw this and i was like oh my god this is like a must have in a household i'm telling you guys when we had a toy and the next day you get excited for ham hampers like this and then it comes with a little handle so this our dirty clothes we keep it in our closet then obviously we have to walk down to the to our laundry room and to pick that up it comes with two little handles right here so you just pick it up fold it up like this and then literally carry it to go do laundry i do i do hope the size was a little bit bigger just because me and alex do use or i feel like we go through a lot of clothes or más bien no la vamos tan seguido so i do wish it was a little bit bigger but i'm gonna test it out and then i'll keep you guys updated on how how much this has changed our lives but isn't this so freaking badass okay so for the last items of the video it's gonna be like a little pregnancy segment so I had been wanting to order pregnancy a pregnancy pillow off Amazon. So I literally went on there and put a pregnancy pillow. Me salieron so many, but there was there was two that completely caught my eye and looked really, really comfortable. At least in the model. So the first one that I ordered was this one, which is just a basic pregnancy pillow that a lot of you guys were telling me to get, especially for my back. So this is the first one that I bought and they had different colors. I just went with the gray. I have used this a couple of times, but it is actually pretty cozy. So you just lay here. I feel like this is comfortable even if you're not pregnant, but of course it is called a pregnancy pillow. Please tell me if I am not using it correctly. I feel it comfortable. It is definitely comfortable, but I feel like it's not as comfortable as I expected for it to be. Because a lot of you guys were like, "Let's it's going to change your life to buy a pregnancy pillow. But I feel like, I don't know. And me and I even Alex was telling me like, babe, are you using it right? I'm like, I think I am. But yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty comfortable, honestly. So this is the first one that I got. And then the second one that I got is this one right here so i thought this was amazing whoever 
invented this thing however it is not what i expected either and i know this video is like a must have from my uh, from amazon or like cool things that i bought i think it's a really cool thing i don't know if i recommend it though just because it's a little bit pricey and it's comfortable for like 10 minutes and then after 10 minutes this border that you guys see right here como que te empieza a calar in your belly like it starts making your belly a little sore because this is a little stiff and also this thing comes a little too low for me um so i felt like i mean a little too high for me so i feel like my boobs didn't really fit fit in this hole so i feel like it's good but then we all have different body types that it's kind of hard to suit every single body type but basically you just lay down on here and then your belly is supposed to drop on the hole and then you're just supposed to lay here and it feels comfortable i'm telling you guys for like the first five ten minutes because you let your belly rest but then after that it starts getting uncomfortable um it's supposed to help you to lay on your stomach for a little bit honestly i forgot what it even felt like to lay in your stomach so that's why it was pretty cool for like i'm telling you guys five ten minutes right now i'm talking to you guys so tengo la cabeza así parada but your cabeza is supposed to go in this hole and just help you relax for a little bit so i like it i don't know if i would actually nap in this um, but I do like it if you kind of just been wanting to lay on your stomach for a little bit. So this one, obviously, after I give birth, I will get rid of it and store it. And this is actually something that I plan on having on my bed. So even if you're not pregnant, I feel like everybody needs one of these um, comfy pillows. So yeah, that is it as far as my little pregnancy segment. So that was it for this video on some cool things that I have bought on Amazon. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, click on the little bell right next to it so you can notify every single time that I post. I love you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys.